Drew done got caught already, y'all. He done got caught already. Sonny wanted him to find a name, find out who Austin came to visit that day, and get report back to him, basically. And Cyrus eavesdropping. He gonna go to, Drew gonna go to the guard and ask the guard. He was like, I, I'm able to get your son an internship if you just do me a favor. He like, what you need? Um, I just need one name. Who did Austin come to see? Who did Dr. Austin come to see? But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester. This for General Hospital, September 14, 2023. Before we continue the video, y'all, I want y'all to check out the DLC Crew Text Club, and I want y'all to sign up. It's just $5. It's currently on sale for $5. The link will be in the description. You receive, you will receive four encouraging messages per month. Again, the link is in the description. It's currently on sale for $5. It's a text club, y'all. But yeah, y'all, look here. <laughs> Sonny don't send an amateur, man. What Cyrus? How Cyrus know, though? Was he coming out of the office? Because uh, he was. He just had left the warden. Maybe he just came out and he seen Drew walking up and he wanted to know what was going on. I know when Drew was standing up there that he was trying to try to get some information out this guard or whatever. Well, he don't got caught. I said, Sonny don't send this amateur. Carla was just saying how she was worried that something was going to happen. It was a spoiler. What did this spoiler say? They said something. They going to... um. Something gonna happen with Drew or whatever. But then it's another spoiler that says him and uh Carly supposed to still, you know, be working on him getting released early. And I said, Oh my freaking goodness. Hopefully Cyrus don't find out that he's trying to get released early. He's gonna sabotage him. So you should never help him. I knew Cyrus fake. I was like, uh uh. At first I was confused. I was like, I'm confused. Like, is he actually changed or not? We got to see the real Cyrus today. And we now everybody been speculating that it was him. But they didn't flat out say it until today. They finally revealed that it was actually him. They was giving hints. I mean, we assumed we seen him get the flash drive. We knew all that. But yeah, they revealed it today. He don't meddle with the warden. And she, I knew their whole little interaction was suspicious. I knew it. I knew they were suspicious. But my thing is, sorry for yelling, y'all. <laughs> but my thing is, when Cyrus was out, who is that? Oh, I guess they paid somebody. When Cyrus was out, <laughs> I'm sitting outside, y'all. When Cyrus was out, he was trying to, uh, they talking about some weapons. They ain't want no weapons. That's a violation. He was trying to get, he was getting people hooked on substances and passing, selling it and everything. So how you let, how you making deals with him? And then I'm confused even more because they say he never let them down before. So you've been a snitch all this time or you became a snitch as soon as you got in jail. <laughs> talking about you basically, you, that's the right thing to do. And Sonny got to get off the streets. I said, you want Sonny off streets so you can get on the streets and make things worse. So Sonny won't stand in your way no more. <laughs> I said, oh my goodness, they don't gotta they, Cyrus don't snitch so he could get out Somebody said that, they said that he did that so he could get out Cause then he was like, you know how he told Martin that he gave all his money away He was like basically saying he did it out the kindness of his heart And all this other extra stuff Only to be revealed that um the the fund, not the fundraiser The little organization he gave it to, the judge was on the board I said, all these people crooked all of these people crooked. I said, oh my goodness. So she, then she underestimated who he is. He was like, it was revealed that he actually gave, he got her the job. He actually gave, why keep saying gave? He actually got her a job. He got the warden a job and then he was basically making threats. She was like, are oh, you threatening me? And then he basically told him he was dismissing. She ain't going to trust him no more. I said, he about to have something did to you. He about to have something did to you or have you transferred out or something. I said, ain't that something? He got this, look at this girl. <laughs> But yeah, I don't spend so much time on this, <laughs> on, on uh, Cyrus now, because he always snitching and stuff. But I forgot to mention that, you know, obviously, Sonny and Carly came uh, to talk to him. Carly, look, she's so worried and everything. I think everything would eventually be all right, though. They're going to get out of this. I said, but this, do y'all think this is going to set Drew back or what? Might as well continue with the storyline. So, Ava, I'm confused about that, too. Look, y'all, what y'all say? I stay confused. The Austin and Ava thing. Didn't she slip up and tell Austin? Uh, then she slip up and tell Austin that uh that she she had told Sonny. I guess he didn't pay no attention to it or something. Cause on today's episode, she was saying how uh if you don't if Mason don't get Nicholas' body back, I'm gonna go to Sonny and tell him everything. I said, did you tell that you told him? And I said, I know it was something she didn't tell. She left out some information, but I was like, didn't he know? But yeah, uh, Austin basically was talking like he said that uh one way or another um everything gonna work out and she wanted to know what he meant by that and i said your husband well i ain't even know i don't think i don't remember them getting a divorce but yeah they divorced because she they said her ex-husband and i said okay it's time for him to reveal himself it's time for him to reveal himself at this point 
And I said, anyways, why is Ava over here acting like she's so innocent or whatever? You was a part of the game just like Sonny. So what are you, why are you letting these people threaten you and all this other stuff and acting and act like you're so afraid? I said, come on now. I said, come on. Uh, who else are we going to, is we going to start on uh, Nina and them? Might as well get Nina out the way. Nina and, uh, well, Dex and Jocelyn. So Dex came to tell Nina basically that Sonny was going with Carlos to see Drew. She started thinking about what she did. I said, guilty conscience. Guilty. I was looking forward to that storyline and in this fall. But now they over here talking about they want to plan their wedding uh for Valentine's Day and stuff. I said, What? I said, What? Man, so we gotta deal with this unless they change their mind again. But Dex ended up meeting up with Josh to help her move into the dorm. And this dude, Adam, he came to the door. He was trying. He killed trying. Even after he seen Dex there, I guess he didn't know. He was like, you should join our study group and all that stuff. And uh, basically, Dex was talking about some... Dex was talking about, you know, maybe she should. And he's in med, pre-med and all this stuff, too. I said, that don't matter. I said, because it ain't like... Well, Dex is working for Sonny, though. But that don't matter, though. I said, look, they keep getting a long time, but they did say Spencer is Trina from the gear to get some long time. Y'all think it's in, in regards to, you know, that trip they supposed to be taking? Because Spencer came and talked to her about going on a trip. And I was, look, I was about to say, I was confused about that too. <laughs> look, the, the whole episode confused me because it'd be some stuff they'll say. And it's like, wait a minute, when that happened? Or didn't this happen? Because they was like, okay, she said she didn't want to take the trip. She said she couldn't because she didn't want to leave. And then she was like, Oh, I didn't say we still couldn't go. And I was like, what? <laughs> so she's, they supposed to be taking the truth, y'all. That must be when it's all going to happen. I said, about time, because Esme trying to get her man back. She's trying to get her man back. And I said, look, they don't end... They don't end one freaking memory loss storyline before they're doing nothing. We ain't seen her get her memory back yet, even though I still feel like she faking. At this point, she faking or something. If not... I'm sure they're gonna. it's going to be a bigger uh, storyline. Maybe when Nicholas come back, she's going to get her memory back. Yeah, maybe that's when she's going to get it back, y'all. But then I thought about, you know, Nina and uh, Olivia talking. So she was like, why are you so happy? What's going on? She wanted her to say, she was looking for her to say she's starting to fall for Eddie. So she was like, so with Eddie, because uh, Olivia was just, I told y'all she was smitten with him. <laughs> I told y'all she was starting to really like uh, Eddie. So Nina recognized that and spoke on it. So that means y'all, you finally ready to let Ned go? Olivia guys felt some type of way and left. <laughs> I said, well, that was, why would she let her husband? I mean, regardless, that's her husband, but still. I was like, look, she is smitten. She kept going on and on about Eddie. I said, Nina, you going to get caught. It's, you brought it on yourself. Things finally going good for you. and You going to mess it up. Uh, playing these fools game, knowing they always win. Because <laughs> again, if you had just started tuning in, I see why Nina do what she do. I don't agree with it, and I don't agree with Carla. I think they both the same. Y'all know I've been saying that. I I think Carla and Nina the same. Carla just get away with most stuff, and people are like, "Come on, we've been watching the show how long?" Carla gets out of stuff. Sunny gets out of stuff. This the Carla Sunny show. Uh, and that's the way it is. That's the way it is. We've learned to accept that. That's just the way it is. <laughs> but yeah, Nina hoping. That I was look, I don't know how I don't know what's gonna go on, y'all. I was thinking Ned was gonna bump his head again, or either something was gonna remind him. And in regards to Esme, maybe when Nicholas comes back and try to get you know Ace from her, maybe that's what's gonna re refresh her memory. I don't know, cause look, come on now, it was was it in the third person who lost their memory, or was that on another show? Look, I'm thinking it was another person that lost their memory. I'm not sure though. I almost forgot about Sasha now. So Dante and Sam ain't no coming. Uh, first, Sasha didn't want to believe that Gladys did it. So Dante and them came and basically backed up Cody and told. And she's like, she still can't believe it. And all that. Why would she do that? They filled the in and everything. And they was like, how are they going to get out of this? And they said, with the four of them working together, they'll figure it out. I said, right. Set a trap. That's the best thing you can do. Set a trap. Set a trap. Um, Gladys already told some of it to Nina. Clued Nina, Nina and Sonny in. Then y'all going to start to figure out everything. Set a trap. Set a trap. And they got to go. <laughs> look, I'm ready for them to go to jail. <laughs> I've never been more. Look, I'm more ready for them to pay for what they did than Sonny. And Sonny been doing it for decades. <laughs> but for real. Like, no. Because they kept injecting her. Well, I keep saying they. Doc, the, Doc kept injecting her. But at the same time, you know, she knew about the uh, pills and everything. So she to blame, too. She got to go. He got to go. And that's that. I think that's everybody, y'all. But let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, do this. Have a great rest of the day and be safe. And also, don't forget, check out my store and sign up for the DLC Crew Taste Club. Um, That's $5. 
uh, all the audio recordings are five dollars. The Legends in the Making Accountability Group that's fifty. That's half off. Um, we got some dollar messages and all that good stuff. Invest in your mental health today. Deuces.